Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. In light of the enormous impact that COVID-19 has had on the human family, resulting in the deaths of so many of our siblings throughout this nation and the world, we invite you now to enter into a time of mourning as we meet our Savior, who promises to draw near to us in our distress. O God who brought us to birth, and in whose arms we die, comfort us in our grief and shock at how many of your children have died. Embrace us with your love, give us hope in our confusion, and grace to meet the coming challenges. Through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Psalm 121 I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. A reading from the letter to the Romans. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? 
As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. We invite you now to join us in prayers for the human family. Eternal God, we entrust to your loving presence all who have died during this pandemic, knowing that they are not alone, but with you. May they rest forever in your light and peace. Comforting God, you who weep with us, surround those who grieve and mourn with your strength and compassion. Give them your peace. May they know that they are not alone. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing care those who are ill or are in pain knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal them, and restore them to health and strength. Gracious God, give skill, sympathy, and resilience to all who are caring for the sick, and your wisdom to those who are searching for a cure. Strengthen them with your spirit, that through their work many will be restored to health. Wise God, give understanding and insight to those governing and making decisions regarding reopening, policy development, and public life. May they seek the good of all guided by a desire to keep all people healthy and safe. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought low, that they may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am
let us pray. O Lord God, from whom we came, in whom we are enfolded, to whom we return, bless us in our earthly pilgrimage through life, with the power of the Father protecting, with the love of Jesus indwelling, and the light of the Spirit guiding, until we come to our ending in life, and love eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. As we conclude this time of lament, may we rest in the knowledge that God always goes with us through the presence of the Holy Spirit and the presence of one another. And may the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen.